one of the first rules in politics is that you don't talk about private conversations with the Queen. And you've done that twice. Well, Firstly, I... you were recorded saying she purred down the line to you when you told her the results of the Scottish referendum. And secondly, you've now revealed as well uh, that you asked her to raise no, an I, eyebrow. That, actually, that's, I mean, I, I was, what I said in that programme, and I don't want to add to it in any way, was about conversations between my aides and her aides, actually. So what you asked is not actually correct. But I don't want to say any more. You've been indiscreet. I, I don't want to say any more. Um, and uh, I'm going to leave it at that. The royal family, the uh, source at Buckingham Palace, has said that your comments caused displeasure. I mean, that means they're furious in royal family speak, doesn't it? I think I've said everything I want to say about this subject. I mean, you're the one who's brought this up, though. You're the person who has made these revelations. Yeah, and the context was, as I said, that Alex Salmon was saying that Her Majesty would be the proud monarch of an independent Scotland. There was a frustration in, in my team, and that's why the conversations between one set of aides and another set of aides took place. But I, that, that's it. I mean, it's, it's clear that you feel uncomfortable talking about this. Are you sorry? Well, I'm, I don't want to say any more because I don't want to make the situation worse than it is. So you can go on asking questions, but I'm not really, I'm not going to say any more.